Well, 20 years ago, one of the nation's heroes, the World Cup winning captain Bobby Moore, lost his battle against bowel cancer. His widow, Stephanie, set up a charity in his name, and today she's launching a new campaign to raise awareness of the disease. Well, very lucky to say that Stephanie joins us now. It's good to have you on the programme tonight. Um, tell us about your new campaign, Make Bobby Proud. As you said, it's 20 years um, since I founded the charity. So to celebrate that, we've launched a new campaign, particularly in the light of these recent statistics, which is very frustrating to know that more men are getting bowel cancer than ever before. And why is that? Is there any idea or evidence to suggest why so many more men are getting it compared to women in this country? We don't actually know, but I suspect, or we suspect, that it's um, men are re reluctant to go to their, their doctors. Women are the gatekeepers of men's health. Um, Men, British men, it's a British phenomenon, isn't it? They're asked to man up as children, and later on in life, they're just reluctant or maybe lazy, don't, can't take the time out to go to their doctors. And this is tragic because bowel cancer can be treated successfully in nine out of 10 cases, and yet it's our second highest killing cancer with more men getting bowel cancer. So you're targeting men, men <laughs> particularly footballing communities, yes. full of big, strong guys who don't like to go to their doctor and say, I think I've got a problem. Yes, and some of them are sitting on the terraces as opposed to playing football. So we're targeting these men and we're asking them to make Bobby proud, which is the headline of our campaign, and to raise funds for research by wearing their football shirts on every Friday or a Friday in April, which is Bowel Cancer Awareness Month, and maybe through May, and text to donate. So we're asking them to text 06 sorry, HERO 06, the amount of money you wish to text, and then 70070. I know that you um, have done a fantastic job over the last 20 years. You've raised millions of pounds, haven't you, for, for bowel cancer. Do you think, and I'm sure you do think about this, that maybe Bobby would still be with us if he was diagnosed with the disease today, given it has changed so much? Definitely. Well, I can't say definitely, but I think he, he, would, have, he would have been here today. Um, he was misdiagnosed for four years, but he did go to his doctor right from the off. But sadly, back then, things were very different. Um, things have moved on now. Tremendous progress has been made. And some amazing tributes, especially on the 20th anniversary of his death. Does that make his passing any easier for you to bear? It's, it was wonderful, particularly at West Ham, for the grandchildren to see how their grandfather is revered still. Very, very warming indeed, yes. Well, Stephanie, thank you very much for coming thank on and, you. and telling us your story. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.